think depression is something entrepreneurs often face, and I'm no different. I love nothing more than watching people grow. I'm a very introspective person so that when I do mess up, I try and think, you know, whose fault was this? Of course, it's my own. What am I going to learn? Why did this happen? I try not to get too down and depressed about it. You know, again, depression is something entrepreneurs often face, and I'm no different. I've had those days in bed where you're like, oh, crap, I just can't get up and get out. But you give yourself a couple of days to recharge and give yourself permission to be in bed and then go, you know what? Back to the vision, back to the painted picture, back towards doing greatness. Can you give me a little bit more of that daily in stuck in the mud, not wanting to get up? Because um, it's like a it's like a spiral downward a lot of times. Because I, I work with tons of companies, and and nobody wants to talk about those days that they don't want to get up out of bed, right? They're, they're like, mm-hmm. oh, we try, we we do our best, but you said just give yourself a couple days. What is the mindset when you're doing that? How do you give yourself permission when you're like, but people are piling stuff on me, and I should be doing this, should should should. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the mindset is is giving yourself permission and just going, you know what, Brian, it's okay. You know, you're a CEO, you're running a business. Nobody expects you to be on your A game every single day. And you've got a couple, two, three days where something just has hit you hard. It could be a personal issue. It could be something in business that's brought you down. And it happens. It happens to the best of us. And so what I do is I give myself permission. I mean, I remember years ago, I went through a, a bit of a funk where we had a, a COO that didn't work out. It was our second COO uh, after Cameron Harold, who was our first, who was amazing. Uh, you go through different growth phases. And I brought on this ex Starbucks exec and we just failed together. And sales dropped $40 million, uh, got her out of the business, You know, just about lost the business. I was in a difficult, difficult place, but I gave myself permission to be open about it. So even with my assistant, I would say, you know what? I'd call her up or text her and say, I'm having one of those days. I just, I need you to take everything off my schedule. I'm sorry for the last minute, but it's one of those days. And so I think if you can give yourself permission and allow others around you to support you through it and just say, I need a day, it's okay. I mean, I want, we give uh, five weeks paid personal leave to everybody in our company. And if someone needs a day, go take it. You know, they often feel like I've got too many important things but you're not gonna be good to yourself or the company if you don't allow yourself that room to recharge and grow.